Hey guys, hey guys this, this is Fang Slash here, coming, here. At coming at you with another Sonic Mania Let's, Let's Play. play. And, and this. Go on. And this is Mizuki Rubendale here as well, continuing her Mania mode as well with the. Yep. yep. So, so, pretty much, as, as always, always, hello, hello, Mizuki's subscribers that are not currently su subscribed to my channel, which you guys totally should. You guys totally should. So, you ready to do this? Yes. And of course, also you- Also, hi to thank subscribers that's not sub to me. Yes, which uh, you guys should. <laughs> so anyways, of course, if you guys are new here, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. Let's get started. Alright, okay. we're gonna go in. Three, two, one, going in now. Oh yeah. Son! This music is a bop. It's such a banger. Yes it is. Bounties. Oh lord, here we go, folks. Music you going into the music going into the ultimate bouncy bouncy booze mode. It's a bouncies! You know how I use about the bounties. I mean, yeah, considering how you got when, uh, when I first watched you play Sonic 3 Knuckles for the very first time. Carnival Night Zone has freaking balloon bouncy balls. I couldn't help it. I know. I found it really adorable. I know. I'm just saying. Currently, I'm in a. Currently, I'm in the special stage. I'm trying to find the special stage. I'm telling you, love, if you go on to YouTube, you can find tutorials on where they're all at. I know, but me be me, I'm just not going to find them. Well, then there's me that's like, I don't freaking care about fighting by myself. I just want the power. Speaking of power, um... <laughs> you guys oh, are going to be getting... Robo the Blast 2. Yeah, you guys might be getting another Sonic Robo Blast 2 video next week. For Sonic Tuesday. Yeah, because of a certain mod that you can. Let's just say that uh, Sonic has gone full blown Goku. Like, just let, let me just say it like that. No kidding, he went full blown Goku. Like, legit, that mod you have though, it does look like he could fit into Dragon Ball Z. He does look like he could fit in Dragon Ball Z. He has that Super Saiyan 3 hair going on. He does, and his clothes are super long and spiky. But, which, by the way, this mod isn't for everyone. If you don't like. You know, super old P characters. Oh, sweet! I just got the six, the six Chaos Emerald. Neat. Um, but if uh, if you guys don't like mods that are super OP and that kind of makes things easy, then this mod isn't for you. But here's the thing, all right? I like a challenge too, but I also like to have super fun. And this mod is a definition of having super fun. Oh yeah. But to be honest, I can see this mod being a good stress reliever for me. And Someone that has four witness to it, yes. It's, it's a, a freaking fun, fun mod. There's a ring up there. How do I get there? Hold up. There's a ring. How do I get there? <laughs> <laughs> yes, how do the you- The giant bunion, how do I get to it? The giant onion ring. Well, sometimes. Or be better yet, as what? You know... Here's the right. I have nothing to do with these group of YouTubers anymore, but someone let's played Ma uh, Mania as Frieza, and instead of calling these rings, he called them Mario coins, and I'm sitting here like, how does these look like coins? How does these look like freaking coins? Like, I get like during the time he was playing a lot of Mario, so like I can understand that, but it's like, maybe, you know, maybe just maybe I'm such a big Sonic nerd, but it's like, they're rings. They're not coins. Like, nah, no, 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 no. Oh, bouncy, bouncy, booze. Yes, bouncy, bouncy, booze. Oh, I had the fire shield. Oh, crap. Somebody about to get one. I mean, hey. If you can find a way to mod blue flames in here, that's quite literally your OCs. Flames. 
Okay, real talk. They need to add Dark Sonic into a freaking official Sonic game. Yes, because the only time we got to see him was Sonic X. And it's clear to me that the fan base loves it, so... Sega. Sega. Make, make it a thing. thing. Make it a thing, boogie boogie. Because the coolest thing we ever got to, like, Dark Sonic being in, um... In a game was Dark Spin. Oh yeah, Dark Spine Sonic, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, Sega Sonic Popcorn Shop. I wouldn't mind some popcorn. I wanna see some popcorn. But yeah, um... Tail Channel put out a very insightful video about, you know, the problem with the Sonic fan base, and I think you all should check it out, because, you know, he brings up a good points, but I think what he should have also mentioned, too, is that, you know, like, 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 he nailed it, you know, you know, he nailed it on the head that, you know, because of the fact that there's different eras, that's why there's so much infighting, but, like, you know, people just need to understand that, you know, that, like, the one thing I get tired of with this fan base is the being pessimistic about every single Sonic game. Like, not every Sonic game during, like, the last pa past nine years was terrible. Sorry, but it wasn't. Like, People need to learn how to enjoy things again, instead of being so negative all the time. This is very true. Oh boy. Okay, I'm at a boss. I am too. Ah! I gotta jump. I gotta hit. I gotta hit, I gotta hit the, the blue small one. rockets. Oh, shit. Okay. Ow! I have no more rings! Oh, wait, now I do. I got rings again. Yay! <laughs> Yay, more rings! I'm gonna do a little bit of this and do a little bit of that and do a little bit of blah blah blah. Ow! I need rings. Give me rings. Give me rings. For the love of God, give me rings, please. I need rings. Give me those onion I'm rings. Sure it will. It and, was the onion rings. And uh, give me some ranch to dip it in. Now I'm hungry. I've never tried that. Have you ever tried dipping french fries in a ranch? No. I need to try that. It's good. It's fantastic. That's what we do at Red Robins, actually. Really? Yep. Have you uh, ever heard of Red Robins? Yeah. Yeah. Never got to eat there, but yeah. Let me tell you about that place. You can get unlimited root beer froze. That's what I normally get there. Yep, yep. unlimited root beer froze. Oh. And fun fact, I would fun fact, I would eat so many of them that I would get freaking full off of just root beer froze. <laughs> That's kind of a. Uh... Oh god, I would do the same thing too. Oh my god. All right. I, limited root beer food. Yeah, I I just got through Act One. I get to I'm on Act Two now. I'm stuck in a lottery machine. The thing about the bo bouncy bouncy boots. I know bouncy bouncy boots. Speaking of which, I'm on one right now with tails. <laughs> Are you playing as Tails right now? No, I'm playing as Sonic and Tails. Okay, I'm just playing Sonic by himself. I don't know why. Like, like, here's the thing, right? I like Tails. Actually, oh, you do. Actually, Tails was your Tails is your favorite one. So, yeah. Well, not still, but yeah, he's one of your favorites. Well, he was my main favorite when I got into Sonic. When yeah. I when I when I watched the uh, Sonic OVA for the first time. 
Because I thought it was cool, like, you know, he could fly a plane, he could also invent stuff. He's a smart little fox. Yeah, he is. Just like another smart little fox that I know. Oh, bouncy. Yeah, there's a lot of bouncy moves. Yeah, there is a lot of bouncy moves. I'm, yeah, I'm trying to find another ring, but I'm trying to not get. So oh wait, I think I found one. Yes, I found one. Did I find one? Did I randomly find one? I might have. I don't know. So if I can beat this, then that means I can go super sanic. Oh yeah, um, talking about the Sonic Robo Blast 2 video I did, you know, like I said, that was one of the very first fan games I ever played. Oh yeah. And it is, and like I mentioned in the video, it is one of the oldest videos. Well, not the oldest video, the oldest fan game. I think like one of them that was ever made. So oh, yeah. the reason why a lot of fans don't love it. Ah, damn it! I screwed up. I lost. Oh, yeah, I messed oh, up. No. It's okay. Oh, no. The next day, just flying battery zone, so I know where the rings are in that. It's fine. I've been in this game a lot of times, so I'm I'm not stressing. Uh, I know. Shit. I freaking, you know, I freaking own this game on all the systems. <laughs> this is true. I own it on PC and PS4 currently. Yeah, I own it on Switch, Xbox, um, oh god, the Blue Spears. Yeah, I just got done trying to do one of those and messed up horribly. Um, I own it on Xbox, own it on PC, Switch, PS4, and once I'm able to get a PS5 and Xbox Series X, and technically I would own them on there because of backwards compatibility reasons. Yeah, I love this game. Like, this game is, again, do I agree with the notion that this is the best Sonic game in 20 years? Well, you all know my opinion about that. I 100% disagree. Because, you know, we had Sonic Generations, we had Sonic Colors, Unleash, the Advanced Game, Sonic Adventure 1 and 2, Heroes. Like, like I mention all the time to people, is that we've had more good games in the Sonic franchise than bad. This is true, we have. And to be honest, I think it's time as a fandom we stop blindly hating. You know, like... That's what's funny hating, but being so pessimistic about every new game that comes out. I think that's another big problem with this fandom, too. And, uh, the sad thing is, too, is that, you know, somebody said, you know, another another problem is, is that, you know, being blindly optimistic is a bad thing, too. Well, here's the thing. I would rather be blindly optimistic about crap than being blindly pessimistic. Because I would rather enjoy things and enjoy the ride, even if even if Frontiers does turn out to be bad, I'm still going to enjoy the first. I'm still going to enjoy my experience. I got all the blue spears. Nice, love. So. You know, it's kind of like with the Ruby fan base. When like I hear when people want to know how you fix the Ruby fan base, it's like, well, how you fix the Ruby fan base is kind of simple. Stop whining, attacking fans just because they have separate opinions than you, and they might ship different pairings than you. You know? Yeah. It's okay to do that. You know, and with the song fan base, it's. You know, it's okay to be worried about a game if you didn't like the previous entries, but don't just say it's crap when we don't know much about it. And when it comes to leaks, I don't believe any of those Sonic tubers that do leaks. Especially that one guy that uses a freaking raccoon picture. I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. 
Um, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because he'll, he'll freaking have a, he'll, he'll have good news about Frontiers, and then he'll follow it up with a bad one. one. So it's like, again, what am I supposed to believe? Exactly. Take that, Eggman. Okay. Thunderstorm. Thunderstorm. Okay, I'm gonna pause on my again because I just got going with Eggy. Okay. Yeah. I, I think, think I'm, I'm almost done. done. There we go. I, I kicked, kicked his butt. Yay! Keep this butt. Now you just do a little cutscene of flying and getting up on flying battery zone. <laughs> Fun well, fact, that, that sack noise, noise that you hear at the end of the Act 2 of uh, Suriopolis, that's actually the same sound that they used for the, uh, for the event that they did when they announced oh, Mania really? and, and, uh, forces. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. That's cool. Yeah, I didn't know that. Alright, folks, that's gonna be it for part three. Yes, this would be part three. So, if you all have enjoyed it, then you know, you know, what, to know what, what, to what to do. With that said, we'll see you all in... The, the next, next one. one. Later, Later guys. guys.